Hey everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography, Speed Shooter Harness System. The last video I did talked about the chest strap loadout system that I added to the harness. This time around, another option, an integrated waist belt. And the key word here is integrate. It is sewn into the system, into the harness, so there's not you can't lose it. It's not separate. If the harness goes, the belt goes. Okay, so that's one thing. Why the belt system, though? Three principal reasons. One, I've been getting feedback from people using the harness, and some people don't like the fact that the pouch moves around. It can move this way, this way, it moves out, especially if you put the camera over your shoulder. I don't think that that's a problem. I kind of like it. But some people would rather have the pouch area where the monopod goes in being more stable. When you have the belt on, this doesn't move. Now you can keep the belt relatively loose, so there is movement there, but in general it will not move nearly as much. So that's one reason. The second reason is it just gives the feel of a more secure system. Some people, you know, you've got a 600 millimeter F4 over your shoulder on this system, you're shooting it, you want it to feel secure, this gives you a much more secure feel. But the main reason is it helps distribute the weight of a big system, or even lighter systems, better. Without the belt, all of the weight of your big lens once it's in the pouch here, pulls down, it's all on your shoulders. Again, I don't find that to be a problem, but some people think that's a lot of weight on my shoulders. Having the waist belt, and if you snug it up properly, distributes the weight not only on your shoulders, but also onto your waist. Much more even weight distribution with the belt. The other thing is that it provides back support. If you snug up the belt, I'm going to turn this around. If you get a harness with the integrated belt, you can also get a back pad that goes on the belt. And if you snug that up, when you're using the harness system, it provides some nice support for your lower back. It's actually very comfortable. That part of the belt system, I actually like quite a bit. So those are the three main advantages of having the belt integrated into the uh, original harness system. Now, there's an interesting dynamic that develops when you have the belt, and the belt can be adjusted, of course. So it's just, let me just show you. It's just a simple side release buckle. The belt itself is sewn into the pouch area. So to put it on is extraordinarily simple. That's it, okay? This, of course, like I said, is adjustable to waist size, get it nice and snug. Then the other thing that's adjustable, of course, is the length of the shoulder straps. Now, the dynamic that can develop here is the more tension, the tighter you make the shoulders, the less weight actually goes onto the, onto the belt part, onto the waist part, when you have your system in, in, the, uh, in the pouch, you got the monopod in there, you got your big 600 F4, 402.8, hey, even a 100 to 500, 200 to 600, it doesn't matter what you're using, but when the weight's on, on the system itself and you have the shoulder pad snugged up and the waist belt snugged up, it's a pretty even distribution, but the snugger you make the shoulder straps, the more weight is actually on the shoulders than on the waist you can then finally adjust the proportions of weight on the belt to the shoulders. You can actually loosen up the shoulder parts of this quite a bit to the where almost all of the weight is on the belt, or you can, like I say, snug up the shoulder pads to where a lot of the weight is on the shoulders and very little is on the belt or anywhere in between. So you can basically adjust it over a little bit of time, a little trial and error, figure out exactly the tension you want on the, on the shoulders and on the belt and get to where 
you've got a, almost an even distribution if that's what you like. So I find it a very flexible system and I think adding the waist belt in there is a great uh, addition to the speed shooter harness system. So for those of you who are thinking, well, I can't really use the speed shooter the way it was with just the shoulder straps because maybe I have uh, a bad back, I have a back injury or something like that. Now with the waist belt, there's built-in back lower back support and you can also take a lot of the weight off the shoulders, put it all on the belt, almost, almost, not all. Well, I guess if you just had these so loose that all the weight was just hanging on the belt and the shoulder straps were still really loose, you could do it that way and everything would be on the belt. But anyway, for those of you who think, you know, my lower back just can't handle the old design of the speed shooter harness, try out the one with the waist belt now. I think you're going to find that it actually supports your back very nicely and you'll be able to use the speed shooter harness system to great effect in your photography. So, hey, till next time, have great light, take great pictures, be safe out there. I'll see you soon.